Hey guys, this is Veron from Speak of the Stars, and welcome back to my channel. So, yay, I have a new video! Woo! <laughs> so I think I'm doing a every other week upload schedule, maybe. Um, I, mm, I won't make any promises. I am trying to get back into the groove since I'm starting to draw again, thankfully. But again, still, no promises for no promises for that. The video we are doing is actually a bit of a late video. It is the Flores series for November, which is the Chrysanthemum. Uh, I guess I should give you a warning that if you hear any whooshing or windy sounds or like maybe like metal being scraped off or like doors banging, uh, that's because as a recording, uh, there's a really big... Is it a big? No. It's, it's a bit of a strong and windy typhoon. It's going through the Philippines right now, so you might hear that in the background. Though usually you don't, since I treat the the audio, but there's a limit to what I can do. Okay, so for Chrysanthemum, the themes that I found for it were compassion, friendship, abundance, joy, and cheerfulness. And thinking of the theme for it, was pretty easy. It's one of those light, happy type of themes, I think. Uh, so thinking of a pose for it wasn't too hard. What was hard for me was the actual flower. If you have seen, or at least, or you can just, you know, Google what a chrysanthemum is. Uh, it's a really complicated flower. It has a lot of tiny petals that's layered into this really nice ball of petals. It's really nice when you look at it, but if you have to draw it, my gosh, if you don't get carpal tunnel drawing this thing or coloring this thing, uh, well. <laughs> but still, uh, so I ended up doing thumbnails first, so I drew the flower first because I needed to know the structure of it, how I'd go about drawing it, imagine a little bit how it would look like in different angles, and then the easy part became thumbnailing the poses for the character that would be in the drawing. You won't see a lot of that in the video since I trimmed out 30 minutes of, of thumbnailing and then another 30 minutes to one hour of sketching and that's on the sped up video already. And we actually just jumped straight to the line art because it's practically the same. Uh, you might get bored just watching the same thing happening. I tend not to deviate too much from my line art usually. That's what I, I'd rather. I don't tend to deviate from my sketch all too much because I usually try to get the proportions right and the flow right from the sketching phase alone. So we'll just have the line art instead, and this is usually more fun to watch for me at least. It is the 29th as of recording. I plan to try to upload this on the same day. Yeah, I'll probably do that, even though it's late already. And a very late Merry Christmas, um, Happy Holidays, uh, yeah, and an advanced Happy New Year. December might not come until January, so <laughs> I am very late. I did not meet my goals this year. Anyway, I actually want to ask, how are you guys doing? Uh, Christmas just passed. I had a rather eventful Christmas for me. I hope it wasn't too stressful for you guys. I hope Christmas shopping went well. I hope your Christmas dinner or Noche Bana or Christmas feast at night was well. I hope you're coping well with your family members. <laughs> I know they can be stressful sometimes, especially if it's the a big family union. So, um, they make comments sometimes. I hope you're dealing with that well. I had a rather busy season actually, uh, aside from work. Um, I actually started my Christmas shopping like in November because for the people that I knew more or less what they wanted. So that was kind of a good thing, but they also had a lot of people to shop for. So I still did kind of end up in the Christmas rush, which is not fun. Like, how do people do this? <laughs> um, the lines are so long, the mall's packed, how do you deal with Christmas shopping 
on the 22nd, 23rd, like, how do people do this? Like, even the groceries, I, we tried buying everything a little bit, like, two or three days before. No, four days before, actually. So, four days before the 24th, which is the 20th, like, 19th, I guess, how to math. Um, you already bought the, the non-perishables or the preservable stuff. And then you only bought, like, the meats. Uh, like on the 23rd, I think. Yeah. And man, guess my shopping. That That's a wild. It's wild. <laughs> like, I get it because, like, some people need their 14th, no, 13th month and their, well, their salaries. But it's so hard, man. Ah. <laughs> so, I was kind of busy this season since, especially since I've been helping my parents a lot more with Christmas operations, so they was decorating the tree and Christmas shopping and Christmas groceries and then actually preparing the food and here in the Philippines for some families like my family we have a midnight feast and it's a literal feast. I'm not talking about like biscuits and cheese. I'm talking about like dinner levels times two type of food so you usually skip a little bit on dinner so you'd eat like maybe a really light snack and then you just pig out in dinner <laughs> so that happened so I was preparing stuff on the 24th no 23rd and 24th um, chill a little bit on the 25th and then I think we went to the province the day after, so we were there for half a day. We spent the other half of the day on the road because geez, traffic is hell. Um, and then now I'm just chilling here. I'm on vacation leave. I'm trying to recover stamina and motivation. And I'm trying to get a sunbreak. And to some people, when they go on vacation leave, they travel. They go to places, which is cool and fun, and, and I really want to try that sometime. But my definition of, vac of a vacation is staying at home, being in bed, waking up at like 11 a.m., sleeping at like, I don't know, 9, 10, 11 p.m., and not having any responsibilities. <laughs> Though I have been working a little bit, uh, just to help out a little bit for my team, and because it's a busy season, so it can't be avoided. I actually do bring home my work laptop a little bit, but I maybe spend maybe two to three hours working tops in a day, and then I just become a potato. <laughs> yes, it's nice. Um, I don't need to think about responsibilities for a while. I need to go back after the new year though, but maybe by that time I'd be good. I just need a break where I don't need to think and that's all I need <laughs> because I just I barely I rarely take breaks though, I, though, though admittedly I don't work as hard as everyone else <laughs> I think I think uh, I do work hard because it's it's what the company needs but I don't think I work as hard as everyone else so maybe this break isn't as warranted as I think it is but damn, the traffic wears me down. <laughs> but yeah, I burned out a little bit because the traffic is kind of crazy during the holiday season. I really take two hours to go home and to get to work actually. So it, it takes me four hours on the road every day. But when it's Christmas season, that extends to three to four hours. And when I get home, I just eat dinner and then like flop on the bed and disappear for <laughs> the next six, seven hours. And then wake up again. <sighs> and that causes me a lot of stress. The work, my job, I love it. What do they say I love it? I like it. I'm... <laughs> Can I say I love my job? Hmm, yeah. Yeah. Maybe not as intensely as other people, but I actually do really, really, really like my job. I enjoy being with my teammates, I enjoy the office, I like being there, I like talking to people. I'm an extrovert, so being with people is nice to me. But it's a travel, man. That just, it just like shaves off your soul every day slowly. 
And I know this is like me ranting and blabbing about, but you know, I can't always talk about the process of the video. I realize that. And you can, it's pretty straightforward, so just watch the video if you're more interested in that. But to continue my ranting, um, my burnout is usually caused by some really hellish trans transportation and not being able to draw. So, you know how people have really stood out of stress? To some people, it's exercising. To some people, it's eating, drinking, smoking, um, getting wasted. I, I think a lot of people use getting wasted as a way to, to relieve stress. But for me, my stress relief is being able to draw. And I've been trained by my parents, by my mom, to do that since a very young age. Um, when I used to get really, really stressed, when I got... Okay, fine. I'd say I got a little, a little bit bullied in, in elementary and high school, but everyone does actually... Not that I'm saying it's okay, but um, it's a kind of uh, interactions that I'm not used to as an only child. And also, I grew up in a rather sheltered environment, so uh, my level of sensitivity regarding certain things is a bit more higher than other people. <laughs> so I won't say I'm particularly I was particularly bullied but it was more of me not handling or me not knowing how to deal with the way certain people interact. And to let out that kind of stress that came from that kind of thing, I would draw. And they gave they, they bought me like an entire room of paper, plunked it in front of me, gave me pencils, gave me colored pencils and then just told me to let it all out there and I did and it became a habit and it's a good habit instead of like drinking and being completely wasted all the time just because I'm stressed but when I don't get to do it I burn out really really quickly and that usually happens around this season because it's so traffic it's so busy Saturday comes I just play games on my phone and then on Sunday, I do chores sometimes, and I don't really, I can't find the effort or the energy to draw, which is bad. So it creates this cycle of like being really stressed and being really pent up and not being able to let it out. But at the same time, I don't have the motivation to draw, so it just creates more stress and then it just becomes a really big cycle. So what I'm saying is, if you're like me, please find time to draw. I'm still trying to find a way to remedy this situation in terms of I need to f push myself to draw more since it's my stress relief. Where am I getting out of this? Nowhere really. But that, it's that. So drawing is my stress relief. And now that, I'm being, that I can draw a little bit more now, uh, especially and since I'm on, on a leave, it's, it's, it's staving off a little bit of that stress. So which is great. So hopefully by the time I come back to the office in January, I will perform better. I hope. I hope. I hope I perform better. <laughs> I don't want to be a burden. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, so let's actually talk about the drawing right now. So as you can see, this video is actually rather long. <laughs> the fact that I went on that extremely long rant and the video is not yet done means the video is pretty long. So... Aside from the the piece actually being quite detailed because of the flowers, colored pencils just like just really take a long time. And I actually didn't really plan out I actually didn't really plan out this color scheme all that much. I copied off of Google Images the color scheme of the chrysanthemum. So I found this really nice gradient chrysanthemum color, so I I used that as the base as the base. And then I kind of tweaked my color scheme from there, so it needed some contrast, so I went with the violet bluish dark colored hair, and then maybe some pinks and yellows to create, to tie it in a little bit. I'm not, <laughs> I should, I already did this at the start of the year, but I used, I need to plan out my color schemes a lot more. I tried doing it a little bit for some of the fluorescence stuff. But sometimes I just get so excited that they wanna I just wanna do it right away. And this is one of those pieces. 
And it's still kind of pretty good, I think. It's just not as planned out as, as I'd want it to be. So actually, leave it down in the comments below. Um, number one, how were your holidays? Number two, maybe talk to me about how do you deal with stress? What is your stress release? Mine is drawing. So it's, it's that thing that you do that if you don't do it and you're super stressed, you get even more stressed. So for me, it's drawing. If I don't draw um, to release the pent up, stress and energy I just kind of start like breaking down in terms of performance like I, I work but not as well as before so what is what do you do what's the thing that you do to do the, to release stuff keep it keep it PG keep it like YouTube guidelines PG I guess Okay, let me talk about this background really quickly. Um, I did this because I thought the color scheme looked good. And then I realized for the Floresies last month, I actually did the exact same thing. Which, uh, for Marigold, I did the exact same thing for Marigold. Which wasn't intentional, but the color schemes looked so good. And then when I put them beside each other in the, in the folder, it was like... Uh, oops. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, and me just rambling a little bit about burnout and Christmas preparations and stuff and all of that stuff. Um, if you like this video, please consider liking the video and subscribing to my channel. I do post stuff. <laughs> I used to say every Saturday, but it's not every Saturday anymore. So I do post every now and then. I am trying to get back into the groove of it, but. If you enjoyed, um, if you enjoyed, yeah. <laughs> oh man, I even forgot my outro. This is so bad. <laughs> um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.